All right, I'm going to explain how to light this DPM scene. So to begin with, let's open the deep tab from here and then open this global setting and then hit add word. And if you go to render view, you have a white background. And we're going to start uh, the scene something like this. And I have a simple sunlight at, in here. But if you don't have one, you can hit this DP sunlight and now you have a simple sunlight in the scene so this is very basic scene setup but then let me try something very simple light scene with the sun monkey shift a and mesh from monkey and i have a monkey here and make it a little bit big and the i can subdivide this one but i have a modifier here and this this round sub d it's kind of useful and the I can shade with right mouse button smooth and I have this monkey and let's put some ground make it bigger so I have like this very simple scene here right and I'm gonna apply DPM which is deep paint material and hit this one and also to the ground DPM so I have this very basic material assigned, but you see there's some noise it's a bit bigger because this material is set to the object base. So if you hit this geometry and hit this one, which is all transform and same to this one. And then now it's a proper size of um, noise. So I can put some outline from here, change the thickness something like this and this material is based on the vertex paint so I can change to vertex paint mode from here and with right mice button and hit color say color something like this or maybe purple or something like this right and then if you hit shift and scrub you can blur it so it makes something similar to watercolor look, I think. So that's how you paint. This is a vertex paint uh, mode setup. And also to the ground, I can do the same thing, but we have only four vertex here, right? So I can subdivide from here, but you don't see the wireframe, so I can hit from here and change the opacity and maybe subdivide a bit more something like this maybe one more right so I can now paint vertex something like this and change the color but you still see that this um, noise artifact but you can shift and the scrub you can blur that out right so this is very basic setup if you want to change the material you can go to material setting and the change the value shading color is set to blue at the moment but you can change it to different color but also change the shading value to be more darker or something like this if you want to and there's few settings in here you, you can play around you can change the shading position to be, to be more s smooth if you want yeah so there's few settings in here so you can you can play around but this is very basic setup for lighting and the if you want to change the brightness you can go to global setting and change the gamma or change the look to high contrast or something you can change the red value and stuff but this is how you light the scene and you 
if you hit E, you can bring the grease pencil. My brush setting is set to ink pen rough, but you can, so you can paint. You can draw something like this and hit E and uh, line mesh. You get a mesh here, right? And the, again, we can make some flower maybe. And this time hit to fill mesh. And you can hit DPM. Do some color. Same to this one. And you can put more vertex from modifier. Maybe hit this triangulation and you get more vertex. Now you can paint. Let's go with the control, you can paint the secondary brush, which is white at the moment. Yeah, so you can paint something like this. Yeah, same to this one. Yeah. We can hit outline. And this single mesh, it's better use this leaf outline. And it works for single mesh. So this is very basic setup for lighting.